Hello and welcome to Red Live. So Anele Temba's funeral service was today and her father has said that Anele was neither suicidal nor did she commit suicide. Now Anele Temba's funeral actually took place at the Durban International Conference Center today. Now her father Moses Temba had a representative read out his statement that goes as follows. Uh, greetings to the congregants, uh, both here and virtual. Uh, special greetings to the family. When Annele's father, Moses, asked me to read his personal tribute, I duly agreed but not before I asked, why me? Moses was very quick to explain, unsolicited, that he thought I was best placed to perform the task because I can relate with his relationship with her daughter, Annele. And that I was brave. Indeed, I have known Anele since birth, and the Zungus and Tembers have been family, friends since in Isuzulu, Mzugwana. Perhaps I'm brave because the task I'm asked to perform just ain't easy. And so I read Annela's dad's tribute to the fallen daughter. Allow me to recite the Psalms 23. Amahubo, isashugo samashume amabili nandatu. Tinagesa kula emalukshini si itanangesuru lendo. Ujehova ungu malusi wami angi westwela. Uyangi Ebusweni bezita zami. Uto baye kanda lami nga mafuta. Inde bea mea tutima. Impela ugu ushleno musa. Kwa ugu nlande la imesha yonke ukupila wami. Nga gushalenzi nga jehova kuze gube parate. Amen. At first I really thought I read. At first I really thought the dignity of Anele would be preserved and advanced if her send off was silent on, on speeches and more on singing and the word of God. However, after consultations, I thought it wise to say a few words. I love all my children and they make, me, they make my life complete. Anele, made me happy as a father, very happy. In that respect, Anele excelled. She went an extra mile in making me happy as a father of a girl child. Anele was feisty, very feisty, strong-willed, as some would say. She was single-minded in her pursuits and ways, what others would uncritically call stubborn. Annele never minced her words, an attribute that would perturb her siblings, which she balanced and counter-levered by her giving her absolute best to those around her. In my deepest desire that my girl 
live to be who she wanted to be. I nurtured these unhealthy traits of sheer single-mindedness, independence, and assertiveness. For I truly believed she needed guidance rather than repression. And one one strongly differed with her, persuasion rather than brute force. I remember one day in 2009 or thereabout when Dr. Delizam G came to meet me at my home after I had assured Anele that I wouldn't be having any meetings that day and would give her my undivided attention. The 10-year-old Anele wouldn't hear none of it. She made, such a, she, she made such a scene of my deceit. Deliza literally offered to leave and meet me at another time. And he left. Anele was a dreamer. Anele's, Anele's stated dream was to open the first Michelin star graded restaurant in South Africa. When she turned 21, Anele chose to go to Ibiza. She chose to go to Ibiza. Others call it Ibiza, whatever. Her argument being the recent family trips to the UK and France had tickled her culinary senses so much she wanted her dream of a Michelin star graded restaurant to be hastened rather than delayed. I supported Annele in her quest, but I told her it wasn't inspiration alone that she needed to succeed. She also needed chefing skills and business acumen, and she was doing something about it. Annele prided herself of being not into boys. Her wish was to fall in love and get, and get married to a man that would become a father of her children. Annele and I had different views on priorities. Hence, we had father-daughter debates about her life. But it was her life. And she was clear Dad, I want to get married as I develop. It was no wonder, therefore, that before she turned 22, she fell in love with Kinan. And Lobola negotiations were had between the Dembers and the Forbes just a few weeks ago. I have always been happy with my daughter. And even when she introduced us to Kinan, I was very happy for her. I approved of their choices, and I made a very explicit suggestion as a condition to my approval that Anele and Kinan needed to subject themselves to proper premarital counseling. I knew Kenan loved my daughter, but I knew that their enduring companionship needed more than just love. It had to be premised and embedded on a godly foundation. I know they were due for such premarital counseling on the past weekend of misfortune. I was determined to assist both of them in conquering their challenges, some of which I knew. Anela's dream has been shattered, and so is mine. That said, I count myself as entirely privileged and blessed having fathered a girl, child like Anela. Thank you, Lord. So why are we here? 
We are here because Anele is normal. How is Anele normal? That's a question. In answering the vexing question, I must hasten to state the obvious, that I wasn't there when Anele met her fate last Sunday. I neither seek to attack any person nor cast aspersions, nor create suspicions, nor stigmatize any mental condition. However, I cannot allow an unfortunate narrative go unchallenged, a narrative that asks me to no end as a father, which is maliciously pervade in some circles, that Anele, my daughter, was a chronically suicidal or had suicidal tendencies. All I can say is that until she turned 21, Anele wouldn't consider taking her own life as a solution. Not a single member of my family, Anele's family, a single member of my family, Anele's family, will have ever associated Anele with suicide. It never arose. Living would not have been Anele's challenge. On the contrary, Anele loved herself so much, she wanted to live more rather than less. As Anele's father, I hereby state categorically that Anele was neither suicidal nor did she commit suicide. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to understand the forces that put us in a situation that we find ourselves. Of course, we must, as a matter of extreme priority, deal with the scourge that bedevils our youth. Alcohol, which is overused, and drugs. Especially if we envisage our youth contributing meaningfully to our nation building and economic development efforts. Fellow South Africans, we had better wake up and smell the coffee. We have a serious problem with substance abuse and add to that other social ills, then we are in a crisis. If there's a notion that must be dispelled once and for all, it is that our child, it is that your child comes of age at 21. Legal capacity and maturity aside, but the virtual umbilical cord must be nourished at all times. We must strengthen the bonds and create bigger space for meaningful engagement with our children, even beyond the age of 21. Isaiah 6, verse 1, Uti. Ngonyaga wogufa wengosi uzi yangabo na ujehova. Tragic as a death as it may be, Annelies made me realize the importance of family. I couldn't have pulled this through without family. I wish to thank you, my family, Annelies aunts and uncles, siblings and cousins, grandmothers. I wish to thank you for the unconditional love that you continue to show. And I want to thank you for the selfless support that you give. Thank you to the church, the Assemblies of God, and to all my friends, far and wide. A special thank you to 
yo smo shabalala slobo sam temba ngo clive mang sandile zungu muzi ntombela njema pumulu bonga ntemba bonga ntembe jamabuza guys you have made the extreme pain of losing anele less burdensome god bless you I want to express my posthumous gratitude to Anela's biological mother, Ululu Umamsumi, as well as to Mtwana Wakangela Mankengan, Untanwe Sizwe, for the invaluable roles they played in birthing and mothering, raising, nurturing, and harnessing Anele and her star. This star will twinkle in our hearts way beyond the grave. I love all my children and they make, me, they make my life complete. Anele made me happy as a father, very happy. In that respect, Anele excelled she went an extra mile in making me happy as a father of a girl child. Anele was feisty, very feisty, strong-willed, as some would say. She was single-minded in her pursuits and ways, what others would uncritically call stubborn. Anele Namba means her words, an attribute that will perturb her siblings, which she balanced and countervailed by her giving her absolute best to those around her. In my deepest desire that my girl leave to be who she wanted to be, I nurtured these Anele traits of sheer single-mindedness, independence, and assertiveness. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't, and binge watch my previous videos.